Well, hello again. Uh, this is going to be my blog entry number two. Sorry about the wait. It's been about, I don't know, a week and a half, I guess. Uh, a lot of crap's been going on. Just been dealing with it. Haven't had enough time to really blog yet, but um, I'm back at it now. And I'm going to try and make it more frequent. So, um, anyways, so what's been going on? Um, Work wise, we got cut 26 hours. What does that mean for me? I've got to essentially find another job because now I'm starting to have to pick up hours at another store and you know when when that happens usually it goes downhill not uphill from that so you know I'm um, hoping to still get a job with Apple maybe but um for now that's on pause just to see uh, what my friends they've been busy so we're just I'm just gonna leave that alone for now but um, I mean I'm managing that's a good thing um, life wise uh, last weekend was not the week just the past weekend but the one before that was kind of crazy did something stupid but um for the people watching this you know what it is and i mean i owe apologies and thanks to everyone so i'm kind of just giving people time about that but um other than that i mean uh my best friend came to visit me woo woo um everything's going together for that he's moving into my apartment on june 28th so that's going to be exciting. Um, other than that, let's see. Um, this weekend is going to be a lot of fun. Um, got some of my coworkers are having some parties, so I'm going to check that out. See how they are outside of work. Uh, it should be interesting to see. And um, but I mean, um, at work things are getting better as far as uh, me and my coworkers. I mean, it's you know working things out. I'm trying not to have as much of an attitude as I have been, <laughs> and it's working out pretty well. I mean, actually, a lot of things have been working out. Um, I got to talk to an old friend on Twitter, and um, it's been pretty nice, uh, pretty good, successful week. Um, hopefully, it's going to be an awesome month. Uh, Shout out to all the fathers out there. Father's Day was, I mean, it was okay. I didn't get to see my dad, but I sure did call him. And, I mean, um, I appreciate my dad. I mean, hey, don't mess with him. <laughs> He's an awesome dad. He's always been there for me. So um, kudos to that. Um, I wish I could say the same about my mom, but, hey, that's a whole other story. So um, on another note, what makes June so much more awesome is that my friends from Montgomery and Dothan are coming down. Uh, actually, co-workers of Walgreens. Um, one of them doesn't work with Walgreens anymore, but hey, that's how I met them. And uh, there's some pretty awesome friends just to make a trip down here to see me, and so I'm excited. Um, they're coming down when my best friend's going to actually be moving in, so that's just going to be an awesome week slash weekend. I've got my vacation put in. We're going to grill, have fun, chill at the pool, go downtown maybe one night, and the rest just catch up on everything. So much has happened, you know. Um, that's why I'm keeping this, you know, to keep in touch with you guys. So um, that's going to be exciting. Um, other than that, I'm just, uh, you know, working with this Windows computer. I'm starting to slowly rebuild my music collection until I hopefully get a Mac. Anybody who wants to just randomly donate, hey, hit me up. <laughs> But, um, no, I've, I've taken a turn to uh, B.O.B. I'm sure a lot of people have heard them, um, or heard him, should I say. Um, his album, Strange Clouds, the deluxe version, um, taking a lot of heart to uh, a lot of his songs. If you listen to them, listen to the lyrics, you kind of, you kind of can relate. Uh, didn't know that, you know, a lot of rappers don't rap about local things about you know how their lives are like ours I mean I know their lives aren't like ours but they relate to us when they were like us and uh, I like how B.O.B. does that I mean if you ever get a chance check out some of the songs I mean um, I know Strange Clouds um, So Good and uh, of course um, crap I'm having a blank right now let's see what song is it Price Tag right Price Tag and um that's pretty much it. Uh, Bombs Away featuring Morgan Freeman is pretty awesome. I mean, Morgan Freeman is like a, he he narrates in a rapping version. It's pretty pretty legit. So if you guys get a chance, check that out. Um, other than that, I mean, life's been chill. I've been trying to budget my money. Payday was last week, so thank God for that. <laughs> 
Um, living off ramen noodles, hey, I'm not complaining though. I mean, I'm being able to do everything by myself, and that's what I love the most. Uh, of course, my family's supportive. They they're always there for me if I ever need anything, and I appreciate that. So um, I'm thinking that I start need to get, or I need to start getting in contact with more of my Alabama friends. Um, I know some of my coworkers from my store there. Who knows what they've been going through? I haven't talked to them in the longest time. That's just because I've been busy working, working, and trying to find hours wherever I can. But um, even that, and then even the people at my church, uh, it's been a while. So um, I'm going to have to find a way to, I mean, this is one way, but, you know, it's, it's, blogging is not the same as a two-way conversation. I think we all know that. So um, other than that, I mean, just trying to figure out life as usual. That's what I usually do anyways when I'm thinking about uh, everything. But, um, oh, uh, a new talent I figured out is that I look Asian every time I take a picture. So apparently I don't open my eyes. And um, it's actually a proven fact. <laughs> um, so I don't know what that means, but uh, just a fact. Something new I learned. Anyway, so um, Florida's been cool. Uh, the weather's getting better. It's not raining every single day, um, which is good. But I mean, of course, we needed the rain. So hey, uh, this is supposed to be hurricane season, I believe. So I'm getting used to it. The summer, I mean, for a summer, this isn't bad. I mean, Alabama, it's humid as crap, and like you can't live outside here. You can live outside. I mean, it's pretty decent. I mean, it does get hot. Don't get me wrong, but I like it so far. So. Um, other than that, uh, life's been going good. Um, trying to think of what else. Uh, I don't know. Um, met some new friends. Um, got. Uh, that's about it. So, anyways, this is gonna be my video blog number two, and uh, I'm gonna try to do it more often. That way, I can like, you know, fill in the gaps and have more to say. Because uh, obviously, I'm not going to recall every single thing that's happened in the last week and a half or two weeks. So, um, whatever. Um, oh, wait, here's one more thing. I finally had a purpose to say YOLO. Now, usually, I think that's a stupid saying. I mean, just because it's overused. But me and my manager, all right, let me tell you the story. She this person came in and uh, my store manager told me oh that's a person who like shop has shoplifted beer before and you could take the single packs well I saw him do it and then he you know of course I can't really tell you anything about what the policy is on that but um anyways to continue with the story he walked out the store and continued walking down the street he didn't have a car so the store manager called the cops on him and uh, it was great because I was the witness and so me and my manager got to ride into, in the back of a sheriff car um, with their plastic seats that aren't very comfortable and um, we got to go and identify the victim or not the victim but the shoplifter and um, so after that he took us around and well, then we had to go back and it was either press charges or just tell him not to ever trespass again or come onto our property or else we would call the cops on him so sh my manager had to get out of the car and I got out of the car too and um we retrieved the natural ice I believe and um we got to I, I had to witness and she essentially she told him that she wasn't well he wasn't welcome to our store anymore then we got the item back and got to carry out the item in the back of a cop car now what's special about that well who can say they've carried or even had alcohol in the back of a cop car um not a lot and uh, I'm gonna show a picture right now yeah that's gonna be that's me and my manager carrying natural ice in the back of a cop car um it was a pretty exciting moment uh, we were having a great time in the back of the cop car cracking jokes it was just it was great I'm sure the sheriff probably was I, I don't know what he thought but he didn't say anything so that was great <laughs> but um that was an exciting turn in my week uh made it worth going to work that day so um oh yeah i don't know um
tell me what you think about that in the comments. Uh, subscribe, of course, if you want to continue following these blogs. And let me know about some things. Uh, update me for all my Alabama friends. Tell me what's going on. Contact me on Facebook or something. Shoot a message. Hey, I've got a phone too. Text message. Yeah. So, um, anyways, this is going to be my video blog number two. See you guys later.